back to previous videos watch them subscribe like notify us give us a thumbs up please share your questions on comment sections dr godson abuja woman our teacher good luck yeah thank you very much lady ij our honorable anchor person thank you for the good work you are doing in promoting the classroom so that people will learn the language with which the New Testament biblical passages were written. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, I want us to pay necessary attention because uh, in the last class that was uh, in our lesson number five, we talked about the present active indicative verbs and uh, today we know quite well that without building a proper vocabulary, you will not be able to understand the words when you see them in the sentence. So we are still dealing with the present active indicative verb and the present active indicative, when we say that a statement or uh, a verb is in the indicative, it means that it is for making statement or asking question. Now, despite that there are other moods, but we are uh, in the indicative mood, as I said earlier on. Now, in the last class, I gave out some vocabularies like uh, akao, baptiso, blepo, ginosko, grafo, didasko, and I gave us an assignment which I said that we should play on, wherein I gave you something like this, akao. This is akao, and the ending I added in the assignment is a's. The second one is Didas Kosin. Didas Kosin. The third one is Blepo Man. Now I asked us to play on these words. When you look at this Akao, the root word is from the Greek singular verb akao. Remember I said earlier on that every Greek verb or noun has two parts, the stem and the ending. The stem remains unchanged, but the ending varies with reference to the person or number applicable. Now, look at this word, akao. When you separate the stem from the ending, you will notice that the ending we added here is the second person singular. Therefore, noticing from the vocabulary I gave you that akao means I hear, then you can figure out that having removed the omega, which represents I, and you add epsilon iota sigma, which represents U singular, now you can comfortably call this word here, U singular here. In other words, you here. You here. But that is in the singular part. The second word is didascosin. Didascosin, the same pattern is applicable. This is the ending. And this is the stem. And this ending from the list of endings of the present active indic indicative verb I gave you, you will agree with me that this ending represents they. Therefore, since this didascosin is from the Greek word didasko. Didasko. Didasko means I teach. When you remove the omega, which is I, and you place a sin, which is they, you now have 
the word they teach. Good. Now, the next one is blood for men. Blood for men. You separate the stem from the ending, from the list of the endings I gave you, a man is first person plural ending. First person plural. And first person plural is we. Therefore, following the vocabulary I gave you, blepo means I see. Therefore, blepo man, we mean we see. Good. That's as simple as it is. And that is why I tell people that Greek is one of the simplest languages to be, to, to, you can learn in the world. All right. Let us look at the English aspect of it. The assignment I gave you last time. I gave you words like, um, statements like, he sees. Then second one, they write. Thirdly, you, singular, teach. You, singular, teach. I hope you remember why I say you, singular, you, plural. Because when I was introducing us to present active indicative, I made us understand that Greek has a special way of differentiating between the you, singular, and the you, plural. And that is quite unique as far as Greek language is concerned. English may not necessarily give you an explicit way of differentiating the U singular and the U plural. Therefore, we look at the words or the statements here, he sees. To convert this to Greek is very, very simple. What is this statement, he sees? When you want to use the first person here, you'll be talking of I see. Then from your vocabulary, which Greek word corresponds with I see, as I gave us earlier on, it is blepo. Blepo corresponds with I see. When you want to convert I see to he sees. Remember, you can go back to the endings of the present active indicative verb. And that will make you to understand that A is the ending for he, she, or it. Therefore, this blepo remove the omega and add A. You have answered this question. As simple as Greek. The second one, they write. Easily, you can figure out the word I write. The word I write is grapho. Grapho is I write. By the time you remove the ending, which represents I, and you are looking for the ending, which represents they, going back to the list of the endings of the present active indicative, you will notice that Osin should be here. That gives you the right. Bear it in mind that the right as far as Greek is concerned, is the same as they are writing, is also the same as they do write, as I explained unto us initially. Finally, you singular teach. You teach. The emphasis on the singular is because of how Greek placed it. You is in the singular form A's. Teach from the root word I teach, which is didasco. The ending I will be removed 
and the ending A's will be added. You have solved it. As simple as Greek. So I want to help us solve this. Take the following vocabularies before we go to the next lesson that will introduce us to nouns of the New Testament Greek language. The additional vocabularies you take include Egeiro, this is I raise, we have addition, another vocabulary, STO, I eat, another vocabulary as Katariso. That means I clean. Another vocabulary is crino. That means I judge. Another vocabulary is lambano. That means I receive or I take. Bear all these vocabularies in mind. Memorize them. It's very important you memorize them. I'll give you more. Another vocabulary is uh, Lego. That means I say. Another vocabulary is luo. That means I lose. We have another vocabulary like uh, mantano. That means I learn. You memorize all these vocabularies, you add pino. This one means I drink. Then we have pistio. Pistio, I believe. We have another one like pipto. Pipto simply means I fall. Now we have sozo. These are regular words that you find in New Testament Greek Bible. We have sozo. Which means I say. Then finally we have fero. Which means I carry. At this juncture, wherever you are listening to us, wherever you are, taking notes and hearing this, bear it in mind that the best way to learn the vocabularies in Greek is to study them, place them in your mind so that you'll be able to remember them wherever you see them. Thank you very much. I call on our anchor person. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for stopping by. I know it's not easy for us to do this. Uh, today, at least, I learned something again. Le Paul, I see. Akao, I hear. Grafo, I write. Can you do that? Continue to come in here. It's a very nice thing. Share your comments, ask your questions in the comment section.